Hi everyone, Chris at VR Flight Sim here. This is an update video for the VR Tools plugin that we looked at in the previous video. The uh, dev got in touch with me. He's ironed out a lot of the uh, wrinkles and bugs from the previous version. I have to say I've been using it. It's a lot more stable. It's got a ton of extra features and he continues to add to it as we're going along. So this plugin's definitely one to watch. It should be in the plugins library of every VR simmer, I think, just because of some of the features it has. And I'll show you those now. Okay, let's have a look at the VR Tools plugin menu. So we'll come up to VR Tools, go across, and we've got three submenus. We'll take each of these one at a time. So first of all, the text file, viewer and editor window so we'll click that to toggle it open and there it is by default it's showing this sort of example flight notes thing which you can read stuff you could have made before your flight and you can edit it as you go as a little bit of a flight log as well so you can if you click this button you can uh, use your actual physical keyboard to type as well um, and that's really fantastic somewhere to actually write notes uh, that you can uh, maybe transfer to a log afterwards fantastic stuff new to this version or very much improved in this version if you use something like pilot to atc which streams atc commands you can set this uh, text viewer to read the output of something like pilot to atc so a text file that's streaming if you click on stream here what will actually happen is that this would update live as the text file changes so that's a great little feature for people using that um, up on this cross here not to close it but if you just click on that actually a kneeboard appears with some standard information that you might find on any kneeboard uh, you can actually customize that in uh, flightboard uh, kneeboard.txt i think it's called in one of the menus and if you click on it again Again, you just go back to where we were this is a lot more stable than it was um, I'll just show you something so if we open here this just gives us the file open menu you choose your directory on the left and you can go up the directory structure with those two dots there and here's the change log for this version so if I click on OK there and we'll just read through this change log so this is the preview for version 1.3.5 that I'm looking at now. It should be coming out at the end of this week. And this is what the developer says he has been doing. So there's been performance optimization and it now renders much faster and is compliant with laminar research guidelines. The rendering for text in the kneeboard has been made kneeboard style. Uh, improved text window layout. I can affirm that. It looks a lot cleaner than it was. Improved the layout of the window for file opening. That also works much better. Relabeled and reordered buttons. Remade the streaming function for text files. Now that works properly now. So I tried that with uh, the x -Plane log text and that does work really well um, made a kneeboard background corrected the bug in the hotspot editor where the hotspot file wasn't generated when the config text was corrupt so he's actually making it so that it will correct corrupted config text which is fantastic um, automatically overwrites the corrected format which is brilliant made a Linux version made a new ven menu version that's that three part sub menu I just showed you and uh, it's going to make an illustrated user manual in docx format so we've got it all to look forward to right let's close this down and go on to the next bit of this plugin okay so let's have a look at the other parts of the vr tools menu so if we go to vr tools again and then to hotspots we've got the hotspot editor so this enables you to make different vr hotspots around the cockpit and uh, is fantastic in my last video you might have seen it moving around inside the zebo cabin um, but uh, you can move to create these by using these little movement buttons here left right up down forward back or you can still use as long as you've got um, x-plane in focus you can still use the arrow keys on the keyboard so up down left right and the uh, full stop or period as the americans call it and the comma uh, which does the same thing and as you already i'm sure know shift and comma and shift and arrow keys and shift and full stop does that all more quickly so let's just um, move back to where we were let's bring this with us I'm just going to move back in the cockpit. There we go. Let's put ourselves somewhere in the back seat. That's perhaps a little too far back. I'll just use this to move us forward. 
That's it. Not the most elegant way of doing that. I should have really either grabbed this and brought it back or uh, opened it where I was. But that's one of the things I've found. If you open it and then you move to a hotspot, you've got to drag this with you. So it's best to get in place first before you open it. But that's my bad, not the plugin. Right, so we're in the passenger seat here. So let's write the word P-A-X. Oops, have it focused. P a x there we go we'll cre click create and then commit and what that's done is it's written the vr config text now to actually be able to move to the seat again you need to reload the aircraft so i'm just going to move back to the pilot seat and i'll reload the aircraft and be back in a moment okay so i just reloaded that took about 10 seconds and i'm going to go back into the hotspot editor and uh, let's go back to our hotspot editor and you should see that's the position we just made if we now click on that and press go to it moves us back to that hotspot that we made i think that's absolutely fantastic so you've got the ability to uh, create hotspots and then move around among them this is especially good if you're on tube liners and you want to move around the cabin but even for little planes like this it has its uses Okay, so on to the last part of the VR Tools menu, and we've got the Data Display section. So, in here, you've got the ability to monitor different things from frames per second, indicated airspeed, TES, ground speed, AOA, G-forces, and the local weather. For me, I have to say, this is a fantastic thing that I haven't seen anywhere else, just a floating FPS display. My FPS is pretty grim at the minute. A floating FPS display that you can put anywhere around the cockpit. You can sort of integrate into your dashboard if you want. Um, but you know, just to have that ability to have your FPS visible in VR as you're tweaking settings, trying to get the optimal setup. What a great idea to have that separate. So you don't have to have Avatab open. You don't have to have VR text window open, which used to also show uh, VR tools text window open, which also used to show the FPS. Um, you're not relying on looking back at the screen with something like 3J FPS. You've got it right there. And uh, for that, I think just this, this plugin makes it just for that little feature, actually. However, you can change it, as I said earlier, to display different things. So um, if we go in VR tools and in the data display and change it to our indicated airspeed, so you should see that that's matching up there about 124. 124 knots and you can also change it to, as i said to show things like the weather and uh, other other bits of data should you be so interested um on broadcast local weather there's a it's still the beta version i'm using um i'm using active sky xp and there's a little bit of corruption of one of the lines there to do with the pressure and the temperature um, but it's showing the QNH perfectly showing the wind visibility clouds and uh, risk of thunderstorm uh, and I'm sure the dev will sort that out in due course he's been very very easy to get in contact with and very good at uh, squashing bugs as they come up so um, you know this is a fantastic plugin and uh, I would recommend it to everyone I'm going to switch that back to FPS because that's just such a joy being able to have your FPS available like that. Let's, uh, let's put it down there so it's out of view. So should you want to check it, you can just have a little look. And that's fantastic, as I say, for when you're doing those little tweaks, trying to get the most out of your graphics hardware. As we all know, X-Plane is almost as much about the tweaking as it is about the flying. <laughs> okay, so there we are. VR Tools, everybody. Download it. Um, the beta comes out at the end of this week with a bit of luck. Um, the version 1.3.4 is already up on the forum, and there'll be a link in the text in the description here. And there's a link on screen at the moment. Uh, have a play with it, but uh, as I say, the, the new beta much more stable. A lot of the bugs from the previous version have been sorted out, and uh, the developer really deserves our support for this one. Okay, all the best. Bye.